हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन इन फिगर अ बॉल इज थ्रोन अप ऑन टू अ रोप लैंडिंग 4.5 सेकंड्स लेटर एट हाइट एच इक्वल्स टू 20 मीटर एव द रिलीज लेवल द बॉल्स पाथ जस्ट बिफोर लैंडिंग इज एंगल्ड एट थीटा इक्वल्स टू 60 डिग्री विद द रोप फाइंड द हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस डी इट ट्रैवल्स what are the magnitude and angle relative to the horizontal direction of the ball's initial velocity so some ek ball di gayi hai jise ek building ke roof par throw kiya ja raha hai such that is building ki height 20 meters hai लैंडिंग वेलोसिटी वेक्टर मेक्स 60 डिग्री विथ हॉरिजोंटल और हमें टाइम की वैल्यू दी गई है दिस इज 4.5 पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स डेट इज नाइन अपॉन टू सेकेंड्स पॉइंट से बॉल की हॉरिजोंटल डिस्टेंस डी है तो स्टूडेंट्स हमें इस बॉल की हॉरिजोंटल वेलोसिटी का मैग्नीट्यूड और एंगल थीटा फाइंड करना है let's say this is thrown with velocity v we are required to find v cos theta and angle theta so students please note the key concept of this question that is in a projectile motion no force acts on an object in horizontal direction and in vertical direction only gravitational force acts so students gravitational force ka role ye hai ki jab object ऊपर जा रही होती है तो ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स नीचे लगने की वजह से इसकी स्पीड कम करती है और जब ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे आ रही होती है तो ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स लगने की वजह से ऑब्जेक्ट की स्पीड और इंक्रीज हो रही होती है सो स्टूडेंट्स वी विल यूज दी सेकेंड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन इन वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन That is distance y covered is equals to initial velocity, and the initial velocity of this particle is let's say this was fired with speed u and angle theta. So initial velocity of this well ball in x direction is u cos theta, and in y direction we can write u sine theta. so y equals to u sin theta that is component of velocity in y direction into time t minus half g t square students so, i have used minus g in this case because ball is traveling in upward direction and acceleration acting on it is in opposite direction so this is minus g and y we were given 20 meter 20 equals to u sin theta Into nine upon two minus half g into nine upon two whole square. Taking nine upon two common, see u sine theta minus g upon two into nine upon two. Students, this will be forty upon nine u sine theta minus g upon two. This will be ten upon two into nine upon two. So forty upon nine equals to u sine theta minus forty five upon two. On further calculation, you will get u sine theta is upon nine plus forty five upon two. And on taking LCM and rest calculation, you will get u sine theta is four eighty five upon eighteen. Now let's see. When this ball was landing onto the floor, 
this was making 60 degree on extending this this is 60 degree let's say its final velocity is v so the component of velocity in x direction will be final velocity component in x direction is v cos 60 and component of final velocities in y direction is v sin 60 this, this will be minus 60 because in upward direction we have considered everything as positive and this vector is pointing in downward direction so this will be minus v60 so students we are concerned with finding the initial velocity that is u and the angle theta so students one thing we can observe from the key concept that in horizontal direction no force acts so you can say that u cos theta must be equals to v cos 60 degree so we must need this we must need to evaluate this v for that we must use the first equation of motion in vertical direction it says that final velocity in y direction must be equal to initial velocity in y direction plus acceleration in y direction into time t so final velocity was v sin 60 degree this is minus v sin 60 initial velocity was u sin theta minus g into 9 upon 2 this will be minus v sin 60 equals to u sin theta we calculated u sin theta here 485 upon 18 minus this is 45 on calculating we will get v sin 60s 325 upon 18 325 upon 18 into root 3 into 2 so we will be 325 upon 9 root 3 from this equation we can write u cos theta as v cos 60 and what was v this was 325 upon 9 root 3 into 1 upon 2 on calculating horizontal component of initial velocity as 10.42 meter per second and this is the answer of part a of this question now we are concerned with finding this theta angle so students we calculated u u sin theta is 485 upon 18 and u cos theta as 325 upon 9 root 3 into 2 on dividing you will get 485 upon 325 into 18 into 18 root 3 this 18 18 will get cancelled out this u this u will get cancelled out from here we can write tan theta is 37 root 3 upon 65 from here you can write theta equals to 10 inverse of 47 root 3 upon 65 calculating theta will come out to be 51 degree so this is the solution of part b of this question i hope after you concept some students thank you